it's me and Chloe over here. I don't know if you can see her, but we are here to do week eight and a baby buys video to see what we got so far for the baby. Um, our next appointment is November 24th and I will be three months at the time and hopefully we'll be able to find out the gender. So look out for that video as well. Um, so let's get started. So um, I went to Walgreens. I live in Arizona and the closest store to where we live is about an hour away. So when I go out, I try and get as much stuff and buy as much stuff as I possibly can. Um, and the first thing that I wanted to show you was this pacifier. I don't know if you could see it, but this pacifier is actually a thermometer and it just makes it a little bit easier to take a baby's temperature and it's supposed to be easier for you and the baby to not be so stressed out. And when I saw it, I just really thought it was just really, really cool and I really liked it. So I bought it and it wasn't that much. So yeah, next thing that I bought was a little giraffe brush and comb and that was also not very expensive um, I'm trying to save as much money as I possibly can being that we are getting stuff ourselves for the baby but we are still gonna be having a baby shower so also look out for that video down the road um, the next thing we I got is a baby nail clipper and these are a lifesaver I use this one this exact one for my godson when my godson was a baby and had no problems with it uh, we went to a place called House of Wrath and they are a place that helps women get on their feet etc but we went for an appointment because we needed to get a uh, paper for our wick and information so we went there and we left with these little booties I don't know if you could see them, but aren't they so cute? I couldn't stand it. I cried my little butt off when I saw them because that made it real. That made it really seem like, wow, I'm going to be a mom and I'm so excited. And it came with this little hat that the little old women knit and it's so cute and I was so in love with them. And also they made a blanket for they make blankets for babies as well and this is one of them we got little du duckies and horsies and I just thought it was so cute and I had to share it when I got home and I'm sure you guys have seen pictures so yeah check them out if you haven't my YouTube is my first and last name but my name is mama to be 2015 and my Twitter is urban twi urban tw sorry urban tr chick 1990 and my Facebook page is Candace Tamoon. So go ahead and check those out. Add me. Feel free to follow me. Um, feel free to, to subscribe. I'll put a couple of the links in the box below. So this way you guys can have the links to each and every one of those. So yeah. Um, let's see, what else did we get? Uh, my mother-in-law, my husband's mom, bought the baby these little booties, and I just thought they were so cute, um, because yellow goes with everything, and yellow is for either boy or girls, and since we don't know what we're having yet, we can use them for either both. My mother-in-law also bought this little outfit. And for the um, gender reveal, I have decided that I am going to use this little outfit and maybe, like, paint something or make it cool, look, make it adorable um, for the announcement. So, yeah, check out for that video as well. And since we don't know if it's a boy or girl, we mom bought uh, this outfit. I thought it was really cute and it can be used for both a girl and a boy so that makes it helpful and my husband thinks that it's a girl but I think it's a boy but if it is a girl 
we have this little outfit that comes with these little, these pants with the little skirt and I thought it was just so cute. I thought these were adorable. Um so yeah, that's it. Um for the baby buys, uh week 8 ha so far has been amazing. Um nausea has subsided completely. Um I'm not as grouchy or mean as my husband would say as I normally was when we first found out. Um I'm officially 8 weeks as of Sunday. This Sunday, coming Sunday, I will be eight weeks, so I figured I'd do this video now and get it out of the way, since it's Halloween, and happy Halloween to everyone, and I hope everyone has fun, and all the little ghosts and goblins get all the candy they can get, and that's it. Uh, one last thing before I go, uh, this is a blanket, I don't know if you can see it, but if you can, awesome. This is a blanket that my husband's first daughter uh, came home in the hospital, hospital with, and so we thought it would be very, um, very appropriate to have the baby come home in this blanket, because it's very special to both of us, and it would mean a lot, so I hope you guys enjoy your weekend, and have a great holiday. Bye!